Well guys, what I'm going to actually do now is show you how to remove the panel uh, from the door. This is actually a floating panel, so what it does is allow the door to swell and expand. Um, if you don't take the panel out of the door, then what actually happens is that the panel will move with the heat and it will actually leave a white line from where you sprayed it, because as the panel moves, obviously the part that you haven't sprayed is behind the panel, and then that will create a white line all around the door. What you want to do is this is the back of the door, always be the back of the door, which should be inside the property, will be the panel that will come out sort of towards you. Um, so take the door off, but easier, depending on which side of the door you're doing, um, whether I'd spray which edge. But what you want to do is actually take the panel out completely, so take your beads off all the way around, and then you want to spray the outside of the panel and then pop it back in and then spray the whole door uniform together so if the panel does move then it's not going to show a white line because it'll be sprayed behind her. You'll take yourself a really thin blade um, like a scraper blade it's a really solid blade uh, obviously this is not the best one but this is what I've got here just something a bit newer than that I'd say um, I'm using a white mallet for this because I don't want to leave any black marks on the door and this, and this is a rubber, a rubber mallet so the rubber mallet will be fine you don't want to be using a hammer so I just put in the scraper just because the edge What I'm going to do is go straight in as far as, as, as like straight, like a tiny bit of an angle and I'm going to start banging. But you'll see the bead slowly coming off there. And as I sort of get it semi loose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the scraper inside that and I'm going to just go up like so. And once I can get a clear grip on it, then I know I can pop my bead straight out. And I'm going to do that all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you're labelling your beads. I know it sounds stupid, but if you if you don't label them, which ones are which, then you'll actually have more problems getting them back in because that one might be slightly cut different to this one. We we'll put an R on it for right. So just like so. And then what I'm going to do is stick that around the bead like that. I'm going to put that to one side. If you notice what I've done there, it's actually started about around the middle sort of, I'm not starting from the top of the bottom because obviously the top would have been rammed in with that um, top bead. So if I started the middle there, I could sort of edge it over until I got to the top. But because now I'm starting from here, I'm going to start this end now. So so just enough there for me to get the, sc the scraper behind and that's fine. Uh, and then I can just run that bead off again. And again, that's gonna be marked as the top. So just the top one. And as you can see, they're just coming off pretty easy now. know now that that is well no because that's not labeled so that is actually the left hand side not the right so there's no need to label those ones so what i'm going to do is just turn the door on its side just makes it a bit easier to to get the beads off again just start at that end nice straight edge and then there you go off it comes and that's the bottom bead what I'm actually going to do before I actually pull the panel out, because you'll see it's quite loose now, the panel there. So what I'm going to do before I do anything is that it's actually packing sets in here. And I want to make sure that I've got the right number of packings. In each so you want to put them back basically where they go. So say they were spraying the other side of the door, I'm going to label them. You can take pictures of it if you want, but you can label them where they're all going. So, you, you know, I put like two there because I can see two for that, for that gap. So if you look, you'll see. What I'm going to do now is as I work around, there's another one there. So I'm going to put one. Um, and these can be different colours as well sometimes. These are all the same colours. Um, so it's pretty easy. But um, again, like if they are different colours, you can label blue, green, red, whatever it is. It just, it just helps them to go back the same. Um, so one there, one at the bottom. So depending on which side of the door you're spraying, it's whatever whatever you're going to be doing this like. But it just it just helps things go along a lot smoother. 
Like just, I've taken them up before. I mean, you can just them yourself, and it's pretty, pretty easy to get them, get them back in yourself. But at the end of the day, it's, the more you label, the easier it is to do it. I'm gonna do now is show you how to remove the panel. So as I pull it out, look, you'll see the panel just come out, and you'll hear little packing. And there you have it. That's the panel removed. So obviously, silicones will run there. So what I do is just clean your silicone, pull your silicone off. You know. Like that, give it a good clean up. Depending on which side of the door you're spraying, all you want to do is tape up around this edge here, and then, like, so from here, so you're leaving this exposed and spray just the outside. That's what you need to do is just spray that outside edge, pop it back in after about an hour when it's a bit dry, and then spray the whole door in one piece so that when the panel does shift around and move in there, you're not going to see that white edge around the door. Once it's sprayed, I'm going to show you how simple it is to put back in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put my packings in back where they, where they were. And just following suit. So your panel sort of got a, a like universal all the way around. You don't want it to be like more on one side than the other. Um, it's pretty straightforward to be honest. Uh, it hasn't got to be bang perfect. That's what I've always found. As long as it's sort of somewhere close by and tight, then you'll know. That's it. What I do is I'm going to start with my uh, top and bottom panel here. And then I'm going to bend in my edges. I find it easier when it goes back in that way. I, when I take them out, I follow it around. But when I put them back in, I always put the top and bottom in first. Uh, so this is the bottom because it's not marked top. So and what you want to do is you want to sort of like hit it at an edge. And that's why I'm using a white mallet. You can put a bit of tape over there to protect it. So as I'm coming down, look, I'm just sort of coming down at a bit of an angle. Like so. Lovely. So don't, don't worry if you get a slight like mark on the bead, like a bit of rubber like mark, not dent, uh, because you're going to be spraying it again anyway when, in, in one piece. So it doesn't really matter too much about having a little scuff mark on it, because you're going to be scotch padding it all up and then, and then spraying it anyway. So what I'll do... That's why I'm using a rubber, a rubber mallet, a white one. Um, if I was doing a black door, I'd be using a black mallet. Uh, just something that I do, it's not, it's, you don't have to, you can put a bit of tape over the end, but just find it a bit easier like, if you're leaving like marks off the white or the black. Okay, so this is the right hand side, because it's marked right. So all I do for the sides is I take the panel, the, the bead, and I sort of push it up as high as I can get it to start with. And I just sort of get it into the groove and push it as hard up into that groove as I can. What I do is I just get, I just get it started. So, just get it started and then I'll work on the bottom here. What I'm gonna do is gonna bend it round, as you can see. Be careful not to snap the bead there, you don't wanna do it too hard. And then as I get to that point, I start just wedging it over by hand. And then again, now I'm going to just work it. And as I said, as long as you're not denting this, because it's going to be sprayed in anyway, I'm just sort of putting it across like that as I'm doing it. And you don't have to go hard, just Enough to get that bead back in. As you'll see, there's a small groove on this edge of this bead here. And then inside the door here is also a wedge. So that, that is the part you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do, so you look closely now, is I'm gonna push the bead in first, push it up towards that corner. So that it's in there nice and flush, see? Once I've got that in, then I can just tap it a little bit. Not hard. How easy I'm doing that over there. 
So as I come down the door now, I'm just gonna pull it over. I mean, this is a very old, dirty door for just demonstration. Obviously, it'd be a lot cleaner than this. As I get that corner in, see, and I'm gonna push that in there. And then I'm gonna start coming back up, ready? So. And you can see, I'm hardly touching that to get it back on. And then I just go over just once more. Hey guys, and welcome to the online new PPC spraying course. We don't sand between the coach. What you want to make sure with the plastic is that you're not overfilling and you want something that sands down well. So this is my hardener and I also have my fillers. The reason I do that is because I actually tape it quite closed. If I cut it in there and in there, you'll lose the edge around the glass. So what you're going to be doing is going I just hold the trigger for a couple of seconds each time. As you can see, I've worked that section in. This is the panel wipe, and what you'll notice is I've got it in a little ketchup pole. You notice I'm just pushing that brush right down to the bottom there and just adding more and more fillers as I go.